Due to the severe heat wave, Americans should come to Europe with Ultra Consciousness Expert. Officials are issuing safety warnings as a catastrophic heat wave continues to wreak havoc on Europe, with some areas around the Mediterranean coast seeing almost record-breaking temperatures. Repeated high nighttime temperatures are particularly dangerous for human health because the body is unable to recover from sustained heat. John Nairn, Senior Extreme Heat Advisor for the UN's World Meteorological Organization, WMO. This leads to increased cases of heart attacks and death. That's not the only diseases that we see, but they're the notable ones, Nairn added. The warmest summers on record, according to the Copernicus Climate Change Service of the European Union, were in 2021 and 2022. However, scientists have warned that temperatures on Wednesday may break or even surpass that record. Many people altered their plans due to the heat wave, which occurred during the busiest summer travel period. Many people in Rome started splashing in the fountains and going in search of the enormous fans erected outside the Colosseum. According to Traveling Lifestyle, a record-breaking number of transatlantic flights are expected between the two continents after scheduling analysis by the official airline guide revealed that about 111,400 flights might leave from Western Europe for the US. According to a traveler from Norway who spoke to Reuters, the intense heat caused her legs and fingers to swell, causing her and her husband to conclude their trip early. Travelers planning to visit Europe should be ultra-conscious and aware of the circumstances there, according to Dr. Mark Siegel, clinical professor of medicine and internist at NYU Longoni Medical Center. Number one is hydration, especially since you get dehydrated on planes. If facing heat waves, you should always have a bottle of water in your hand, Siegel said. Travelers should be ultra-conscious of hydration and whether any medication they are taking can make them sun-sensitive. The very young and the very old are more susceptible to effects of the heat. They don't have the insulation against it so keep them out of the heat as much as possible. Watch out for humidity as well as heat because it prevents you from sweating as much and cooling yourself down," Siegel further advised. Your body sweat is like a sprinkler system trying to cool you down. Replace electrolytes not just water. Although forecasters predict that Wednesday will be the warmest day, Sicily registered 115 degrees during the weekend, narrowly missing the record high temperature of 120 degrees set in 2021. Rome alone established a new record for July with a metro area temperature of 109 degrees, narrowly missing the previous record of 105 degrees set at the city's main airport. Red alert warnings have been issued for almost all Italian cities, indicating that everyone is at risk from the heat, not only vulnerable populations. While Switzerland and Greece are dealing with continuing wildfires that some have connected to the extreme heat, Spain, Greece, and portions of the Balkans, including well-known tourist destinations like Croatia and Serbia, have similarly issued red alerts, warning of a significant danger to health. Despite warnings and health action measures, 60,000 people perished from excessive heat in the summer of 2022, according to the World Meteorological Organization.